Skoda Auto India is readying its second product under the 2.0 India project that is built on the MQB India specific platform and also underpins the Skoda Koshak. Now after the SUV, the company is all set to throw in its new contender in the sedan segment as a premium offering to the outgoing Skoda Rapid as it takes on the Honda City, the Hyundai Vona and the Maldi Suzuki Sias. We are talking about the Skoda Slavia. Set for a Q2 2022 launch, the Skoda Slavia bookings are now underway at all the Skoda dealerships. But before we tell you anything more about the car, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever we go live with a new automotive content. Look closely and the Skoda Slavia resembles a lot with the European Skoda Fabia with a trunk lid. It also bears a striking resemblance to the Skoda Virtus that's sold in the South American market. In terms of dimensions, it measures 4,541mm long, 1,752mm wide and 1,487mm tall with a generous wheelbase stretching at 2,651mm. Compare these to the others in the segment, the Skoda Slavia is the most spacious which should ideally translate to good shoulder and leg room on the inside. It is also longer, taller, wider and sits on a longer wheelbase than the outgoing Skoda Rapid. In fact, the Slavia is also larger than the original generation of the Octavia that was such an enormous hit in India. Although the Slavia is a rapid replacement, the car features fresh design elements that gives it a unique characteristic and breathes fresh air in the segment with its contemporary styling. At the front, its main element are the hexagonal radiator grille and the headlights with their flat design, giving a glimpse at the future design elements that the Czech car maker will put into production for the Indian market. The LED technology is employed as standard within the daylight running lights, with the LED modules at the rear forming a part of the taillights housed within the bodywork. The DRLs are provided by a sharply defined L-shaped LED strip and LED elements in the part of the tailgate that is also located on the boot lid. View it from the side, the Skoda Slavia resembles a longer Fabia that is on sale in the European market. The 16-inch alloys will be offered with the top-spec variant and as an option with the mid-spec versions as well. The raked roof line and slightly upward sloping window line heavily resembles to the Octavia and even the Super that is sold internationally. The character lines accentuate the length quite well. The C-shaped signature tail lamps looks stunning and there's adequate amount of chrome used on the fascia, on the fog lamp accents, the belt line, the door handles and even it's thrown at the rear. White tailgate and the low loading sill means that the massive boot is straightforward to use. The rear bumper accentuates the Slavia's width and features a thin black insert that runs from one reflector to the other. Honestly, this doesn't look overdone and gives a zing to the overall appeal of the car. In its interiors too, the Skoda Slavia remains typically Skoda with its distinctive horizontal lines emphasizing the space while the large 10-inch freestanding infotainment display has a modern touch to it. It is quite intuitive as well. The digital instrument cluster with an 8-inch color display is offered with the top spec while the lower variants get analog gauges. The circular AC vents also add a touch of modernity. The Slavia can also be fitted with leather upholstered and ventilated front seats. Other options include an electrically operated sunroof, an automatically dimmable interior rear view mirror and keyless entry. It goes without saying that there is a mobile connection as well via Bluetooth or USB while the smart link function allows access to a phone's functions from its display board. There is also the choice of wireless charging for mobile phones. 
the rear seats recline and split 60-40 and therefore the cup holder features a specially designed bottom so drink bottles are easily opened. The rubber straps in the tow compartments keep items securely in place. Similar to the Skoda Usha, the Slavia also comes with a multi-purpose compartment on the dashboard as standard, while the utility recess on the dash is a market-specific feature. The Slavia places a strong emphasis on safety as well and therefore can be equipped with up to 6 airbags or a multi-collision braking system. Fitted with ESC as standard, the Slavia is also equipped with XTX and XTS Plus which are assistance systems part of the electronic differential system which improves wheel traction. It reacts when the load on the inner wheels is reduced while cornering and slows down the wheels under reduced load, preventing them from spinning. The brakes come with an automatic disc brake. All the headrests are height adjustable and also the center seat within the rear is additionally equipped with a 3-point safety belt. There are also numerous features, some of which are optional such as cruise control and hill hold control as well which is included in the style trim and upwards. Skoda will also offer light and rain sensors to automatically activate the low beam or windscreen wipers as required. The rear parking sensors are fitted as standard while the higher trim variants come with a rear view camera as well. A tire pressure monitor system is a standard feature across the variants. technical aspects of the Slavia, it shares the powertrain options with the Kusha and so it comes with a 1-litre 3-cylinder TSI turbocharged petrol engine that makes 113 brake horsepowers and 175 Nm of peak torque. This engine is mated to a 6-speed manual and an optional 6-speed automatic gearbox. The other is a larger 1.5-litre TSI 4-cylinder turbocharged engine that makes 148 brake horsepower and 250 Nm of torque. This engine is coupled to a 6-speed manual and a 7-speed ESG automatic gearbox. Skoda Auto India says it is targeting the sedan segment as it projects a rise of about 138% in its overall sales over the next few months. However, the overall sales figure for this particular segment hasn't been the brightest in a long time. The company is also bullish on the sales as it is targeting 3000 units per month once the Slavia is launched. The hotly contested segment will definitely get a shot in its arm with the influx of the Slavia but what will be interesting to see is at what price does the Czech car maker launches the car. Now we will soon get to drive the car and tell you more about the driving, the performance and the ride quality of the Škoda Slavia. But till then, do let us know in the comment section below what do you think of Škoda's premium offering that's coming next year.